Without Bangalore's wide range of sensor technologies, a system like this would not be feasible and we would never be able to move such huge quantities of empties every day. By huge quantities, Andreas Benda, managing director of König Maschinenbau, means that around 150,000 beverage crates are depalletized, transported and sorted here every day. After all, the beverage wholesaler Heurich, based in Fulda, is the largest beverage sorting plant in Europe. In order to be able to handle these enormous quantities efficiently, 5.2 kilometer long conveyor lines, as well as four palletizing stations and sorters, are responsible for the handling processes over an area of 3,400 square meters. They're supported by high-performance sensors for object detection and intelligent safety light curtains for securing the palletizer zones. For crate detection, the sensors must reliably detect different colors as well as gloss and reflection levels. After all, 840 different case types are processed at the plant. After a completeness check and sorting by manufacturer, the boxes are transported to final processing via further conveyor lines. The presence of the crates is tracked at each meter. We mainly use the normal light barriers for crate detection. With many other manufacturers, we have problems with the fact that they react to certain logos from the various beverage producers. Because Wengler's sensor system can be adjusted, we can master this really well, and it offers the additional extremely useful feature that it can also work with an oblique angle. The loading and unloading zones on the palletizer are monitored and protected by safety light arrays. Thanks to special muting functions, only the pallets move into and out of the safety zones without triggering a system standstill. It's only thanks to Wengler's high degree of automation through sensor and safety technology that a system design like this is possible at all. This is the only way to ensure that the enormous quantities of empties can also be recycled sustainably in the future.